Hi, I'm Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here are some of the stories coming up on today's show. Winters on the prairies can be extensive and extremely cold. And wind chill values will play a factor in how long you'll be spending time outdoors. More patients living with kidney disease are now receiving their treatments in Swift Current, rather than traveling long distances. The Swift Current Broncos recently entertained the Lethbridge Hurricanes while hosting the annual Teddy Bear Toss. Thanks for joining us here today. With another winter season upon us, wind chill factors come into play. And in this report, we take a closer look at what wind chill values are and the various other weather statements. Winters on the prairies can be extensive and extremely cold. And wind chill values will play a factor in how long you'll be spending time outdoors. According to national stats, approximately 100 Canadians die from exposure to the cold temperatures every year, with others suffering from hypothermia and frostbite. And depending on the severity of the wind, your skin can freeze in a matter of minutes. Therefore, by being aware of the weather forecast and taking a few simple steps, you can better prepare yourself for the cold elements. You plan ahead. Um, you, you, with the warning and the watches and the, and the forecast, you, you have elements of what is the, the issue, what is the, the uh, weather element that is a concern. Is it blowing snow? Is it heavy snow? Is it freezing rain or what have you? And then there's a certain timing aspect. Where is it going to hit? And then, of course, location. So uh, it plan ahead to, to take into account the weather in your, uh, in your travels. And then, of course, logically to dress warmly. Uh, just don't put on a... Uh, zip up a coat, uh, think about uh, footwear, think about hat, gloves, um, and, and that kind of thing, and, and maybe even a little bit of a, a survival kit uh, in your car, uh, things in your car that, hey, if a shovel or a, uh, a bit of um, uh, a warm blanket or, or something like that, a candle, or, or just in case you do get storm saved. Phillips adds that Environment Canada issues a series of weather statements, watches, and warnings in advance of changing weather patterns with a blizzard warning at the extreme end of the scale. The blizzard warning is, um, to me, it's the equivalent of the severe thunderstorm in the, in the summertime. It's one that, where the weather should be only on your mind. And there's a number of combinations that bring you a blizzard warning. Uh, the, the key is visibility. You normally would have um, um, uh, visibility less than half a kilometer. Uh, you can't see in front of you. And now it doesn't, it can be brought by new snow. It could be old snow. It doesn't have to be a blizzard. It doesn't have to be uh, new snow falling. It could be snow that fell yesterday or last week that just picked up by the winds and redistributed. And, uh, and then, of course, you have to have winds that are fairly strong, above 40 kilometers per hour. That'll uh, create these kind of uh, whiteout situations. And then, of course, it has to last for about four hours or more. Therefore, by taking a few precautionary steps in advance, you can have a more enjoyable winter season. The short-term forecast for the Swift Current area is calling for the continuation of below seasonal temperatures. Wishing you and yours a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from David Anderson, Member of Parliament for Cypress Hills Grasslands. Wishing the citizens of Swift Current the very best this holiday season and into the new year from Mayor Schaefer, City Council and staff of the City of Swift Current. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the Board, Management and staff of Innovation Credit Union. Dialysis patients across the southwest are now receiving enhanced services at the Cypress Regional Hospital in Swift Current. We have more in this report. More patients living with kidney disease are now receiving their treatments in Swift Current, rather than traveling long distances. With an investment of up to $690,000 in operational funding from the provincial government, capacity for the hemodialysis unit at the Cypress Regional Hospital will now double from 12 patients to 24. The unit has increased the number of treatments it can now provide each week, from 36 to 72. Dennis Rusin of Swift Current is one of those patients benefiting from the service expansion. I started this journey down here when I, in August. I had open heart surgery, 
and uh, after that I had to go on dialysis right in intensive care. And we were, uh, had to, I couldn't drive for six weeks, so I had to get my family to drive me back and forth. And uh, then finally well, I was able to get in here for two, week, two days a week, and then I was glad when they opened up on uh, Saturday. And with the enhancements in service, additional staff training was required to accommodate the increased patient flow through the Cypress Regional Hospital. So they go to Regina and there's a four week uh, training that they do uh, and do exams. They have to do, um, do all that. And then they spend two weeks kind of budding with a nurse in the renal home unit as well um, to perfect their skills before coming home here into our satellite unit. And now with no waiting lists and swift current for dialysis treatments and less travel time for patients, the province's commitment to rural health care shines through in its investment to the Cypress Health Region. I think this is a, a great example of the health uh, region, the Cypress Health Region and the Ministry of Health uh, uh, working to put the patient first. This is a, a good example of that, um, expanding the, uh, the ability of the health region to provide uh, hemodialysis here at Cypress uh, Regional Hospital um, and will help uh, in the patient experience so that we don't have patients from this area that have to travel as far as they used to. There are currently six hemodialysis machines at the Cypress Regional Hospital. And due to the time-consuming process of the treatment, only two patients per day per machine can be treated. The Cypress Health Region serves 80 municipalities across the southwest and a population of close to 44,000. W.W. Smith Insurance has reached a milestone as it celebrates its centennial. Having served Southwest Saskatchewan for the past 100 years, W.W. Smith Insurance is your motor license issuer, while specializing in all of your personal and commercial needs, including home, auto, agro, business, and life insurance. W.W. Smith Insurance, independently owned and operated since 1913. Season's greetings and the best in the coming year from Yogi Hugo Bear, MLA for Wood River. Yeah, Wishing you and yours a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Mayor Sharon Dickey, Council, and staff of the town of Shonovan. Wishing you the best this holiday season and into the new year from the town of Maple Creek, Southwest Saskatchewan's hub for holiday shopping and dining. The holiday season is here, and an annual tradition recently took place at a Swift Current Broncos game on home ice. The Swift Current Broncos recently entertained the Lethbridge Hurricanes while hosting the annual Teddy Bear Toss. Fans were encouraged to bring along a new teddy bear or buy one at the door. And once the Broncos scored their first goal of the evening, fans eagerly threw teddy bears, hats, and mittens onto the ice, all in support of the Salvation Army. So it's helping uh, those in need at Christmas time. So specifically, it's going to help out uh, uh, children, uh, children in need uh, as far as the Christmas hampers go. So these are kids that might not otherwise even get a toy or a gift at Christmas time, and so they'll get some of these wonderful teddy bears that people have generously donated through the through the Broncos game here. And then it also goes, some of them will go to the seniors as well because there are, there are seniors who at Christmas time in some of the seniors' homes or, or the hospitals might not, again, have anything at Christmas time. An annual partnership between the Salvation Army and the Swift Current Broncos, bringing the spirit of Christmas to those in need. Well, it's really a really a, a popular game, I think, that we have. Um, all across the league it is. You know, in Calgary they had 17,000 teddy bears donated at their game on the weekend. Now, we're not going to be anywhere near that. Um, you know, but we usually collect a few hundred for sure, if, if not close to a thousand. And it's just an exciting game. It, it adds to our game night. I think the fans love to give back. Um, and for us it is a way to give back to the community as well by working with the Salvation Army on this. And as the teddy bears were collected from the ice and hauled away to assist the Salvation Army's Christmas campaign, Captain Ramsey was pleased with the community's continued support throughout the holiday season. Can there be anything more enjoyable than spending uh, almost every waking minute throughout December uh, doing things to provide hope to, uh, to those in need in our community? Uh, it really is. It's one of the most worthwhile, wonderful and amazing things uh, throughout the whole season. It really is. The Teddy Bear Toss is an annual Christmas tradition with the Salvation Army and the Swift Current Broncos.
Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Gus, Louie, and George at the K Steakhouse and Motel. Book your Christmas party or New Year's celebration today. Wishing you and yours a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the management and staff of Stoop Pharmacy and Leader. With all the hustle and bustle that consumes our time and energy leading up to Christmas, let's take the time to consider the importance of this celebration. Christmas is the story of God's love for us, expressed through the birth of the baby Jesus. Let's celebrate this season by sharing His love with those around us. On behalf of my family and staff, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.